Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. We just got a taste of the new IDW Sonic comics coming in April, and every teaser makes me more and more psyched for it. It looks awesome. The release of the new lemur character Tangle has me pretty excited, and it's gotten the Zaboomahu theme stuck in my head, but that's fine. A little leaping lemur who'd like to bounce and play. Now, Tangle has just been announced, and I'm sure many of you are excited, but maybe too lazy to look her up. So, if you don't feel like reading through the release announcements, I'll do it for you. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below. And if you want more, check out our video on facts about Shadow. But before you do that, get ready, it's time for the top 10 surprising facts about Tangle the Lemur. Number 10. Tangle is the first lemur character in Sonic. It seems the roster of different animals is always expanding in Sonic, and personally, I couldn't be happier. Adding new species allows for cool new abilities, something that could make the new comics take on a life of their own. Of course, it's still Sonic, and we're all in it for the speedy hedgehogs, but it'll be cool to see the new powers the lemur brings to the table. Speaking of new powers, number 9. Abilities. Based on the release, it looks like Tangle will have super speed to keep up with the rest of the gang, but that's not all she's got. She also has a prehensile tail that can be used for a variety of things. From from the photos, you can see that she has incredible dexterity with her tail, even able to make a fist with it to take Sonic's hand. It's looking like Tails the Fox might have competition in the powerful tail department. Number 8. That tail boat. Turns out it's no accident that her tail is a huge part of her character. According to IDW associate editor David Marriott in an IGN interview, they knew they wanted her to have a special ability connected to one of her features before she even had a name. Taking a page from Tails' book, they decided to go with a ring-tailed lemur who could use her tail like a whip or like a fist, which they thought was super cool and frankly, I'm inclined to agree. The only tiny problem is that ring-tailed lemurs don't actually have prehensile tails, but hey, hedgehogs can't break the sound barrier either. We gotta go with the flow. Number 7. Origin of her name. You might wonder where Tangle gets her name. Tails is named after his tails. Shadow is shadowy. Knuckles has big knuckles. But why Tangle? Does her tail get tangled up a bunch? Apparently not. According to Marriott, she was named Tangle because she enjoys tangling with enemies. Yeah, not the best explanation considering that's true of most Sonic characters or most video game characters in general, and frankly it isn't a word that's used all that much to describe fighting in the first place. And don't get me wrong, the name's fine. It just doesn't seem quite as inspired as some of the others. Number 6. She may be loosely based on Tiara the Manx. If you watched my video on the hottest Sonic characters, trust me, don't ask, you'll know about Tiara the Manx. She was a planned love interest of Sonic's, meant to match his spunk and attitude, but ended up being scrapped. Based on what we've learned so far about Tangle being Sonic's kindred spirit and having similar attitudes to him, it seems like they've taken some aspects planned for Tiara and given them to Tangle. They both even have names starting with T, and the lowercase t looks like a Cross Illuminati confirmed! Okay, might have taken that theory too far, but the Tiara thing could totally be true. Number 5. She was designed by Tyson Hess. This might not mean a ton to some of you, but I'm sure the hardcore Sonic comic fans will recognize the name. Hess worked as an artist for the Archie Sonic comics from 2014 to 2017, although he's probably best known for creating Diesel from Boom Comics. And it seems that Tyson will be working a fair bit on the IDW comics, having led the design of Tangle with the help of others, including J.N. Weedle and Matt Herms. Number 4. She was created by Ian Flynn. While Hess did end up designing the character, it was based on the concept created by Ian Flynn. Some fans will find it pretty awesome that Flynn created this character since many fans have a soft spot for the guy. He was actually an amateur comic writer who just kind of did Sonic comics for fun, but then he sent in a bunch of proposals to Archie and ended up becoming a writer for the Archie comics. And now we'll be working on IDW's Sonic comics. Talk about a Cinderella story. Number 3. Slow Reveal A lot of people only learned about Tangle when she was straight up released on January 24th, but IDW actually had a much more prolonged reveal. Starting with a dark silhouette of a mystery character, for the the next four days they revealed a bit more of the picture. It was a bit of a troll because it totally looked like Sally, which I think is pretty hilarious. And this got a bunch of fans pretty psyched for what was to come, and I think it's something they should continue to employ. With the comic still a while away, they need to keep people interested, and this is a great way to keep Sonic on the minds of fans. Number 2. Species As I said before, Tangle isn't just a generic lemur. They've gone further and specified that she's a ring-tailed lemur. This can allow us to draw some conclusions as to other powers she might have. For example, lemurs are highly social animals. often cuddling together to keep warm and reaffirm social bonds. This is sometimes called a lemur ball. And you know what would make a pretty awesome special ability? Lemur ball. Sounds like it could be Tangle's version of Sonic's homing attack and the name would actually fit with her species. Huh? And maybe she could even hug her allies to make it even stronger? Yeah, IDW, if you want it, you can have it. Just give me the credit. Number 1. Blaze is back. As some of you know, Blaze has been 
disappointingly limited in the comics. But it looks like Tangle is a friend of Blaze based on the issue descriptions. We've now learned that issue 4 will be the introduction to Tangle and that she and Blaze will be encountered in the same town, defending an attack from Badniks. This could mean that Tangle is from that town, or it could be that she's already friends with Blaze. Or both. Or something else. Which sounds nice, but if Blaze has a new friend, that might close the door to Silver being involved in the near future, which would kind of suck for Silver fans out there. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Let me know what you think of the newest addition to the Sonic crew in the comment section down below. I know I don't know much yet, but from the looks of things, she'll fit right in. Check out our Top 10 Sonic playlist for more videos like this one. Until next time, I'm Rob McKenzie Laferti with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.